Hi, it's Jacob, a.k.a. The Plant Prodigy, and today I am going to be giving you another tour of my plants for fall of 2020. I am going to start with a few of the plants that are on my desk. I have them on my desk because studies show that plants can actually increase productivity and they, I know that they do increase my productivity when I'm working on school. Here we have a plant that I found that was on my wish list for a while called Philodendron Micans. It has really velvety leaves which I think is really cool. Like if you feel them they like are like feel like velvet a little bit. Which is my favorite quality of this plant. It's growing slowly to begin with because it spent a lot of time in low light but until I got this new grow light right here off Amazon a few days ago. But I think it's doing good now. Hopefully it will grow faster. And I can eventually get a full bushy plant where I can propagate plants off of. Here I have a Cebu Blue Pofos right here which does not look good and I think it was over water by mistake by a certain someone. Which was me. <laughs> but I let it dry out and I think it will hopefully recover eventually. I got this plant at a local plant swap from my friend Lily, and I've also got two other plants I'm about to show you, her, you from her right here. Here, I got a few plants that were also on my wish list for a few months, Seropigia woodii, or the String of Hearts. The thing I like about these plants is not just their succulent leaves that I think are pretty cool, but also their two weird tube-like flowers. I also got this from Lil Lily, thanks to you so much if you're watching. Here is my dresser plants. Sorry if some of them don't look so good. I moved them around so that some of them would get more light. Here are the Dracaena Janet Craig right here. It was originally an arrangement I got after I got hit by a car. And it's doing really good on its own. Orchid Cactus, some Calathea, Lanthifoia, which I think will eventually recover. I think it's been probably getting the wrong kind of water, but I don't really have any other choice. Here the ZZ plant, normal, along with an Oxalis stricta growing in it. Here's my Christmas cactus. Just one of my dad's herbs. My presidential ivy, which isn't doing good for some reason. I think it has some kind of bacterial spot and I don't even know what to do with it. My carnivorous bladder warts right here. Here's my variegated Hoya carii I got from Logi's last Christmas. Here's my variegated Hindu robe that I found at Meijer for, believe it or not. I got it for only $11. Like a plant this size now would sell for at least $100, possibly more. And I was so lucky to find it for that price. Here's a shrimp plant I got. My, I didn't get it. My aunt got my, not my aunt. My dad's cousin got it for me. Another one of my dad's herbs, which I moved into the light so that it can do better, hopefully. Here are some succulent arrangements I made, including this string of dolphins right here. And that palm that's not doing so good, but I see new growth on it, so I'm not gonna throw it away. There's a spider plant I also got at that plant swap. And here's this crown of thorns, this Euphorbia milii I got from Loji, that's the same trip where I got that Hoya carii last Christmas. There's another cycling arrangement I made. And there's a, a Hawarfia Cooperi and a Pilea Peppermoides back there. Oh, and there's also this Desert Rose or, or Adenia, if I pronounce that right. It had a flower, but it since fell off. I got this one at Logis too. Here's two plants in a pot, a Golden Pophos and a Dracaena Marginata. Here's a starfish plant I got at my lo local nursery, Lo- not Lo- <laughs> Waddell's. Here's a- here's a fiddly fig, which I hopefully will, will get better. And my Monstera Deliciosa. The Raven ZZ cutting I have rooting in soil in a dome. A grafted moon cactus. And cactus, I don't know what kind it is. And another second ring I made and some oxalis plants that I hope will recover. Like oxalis plants you typically die back to their balls so they'll probably recover. Here's my Ficus Elastica Tinihi I got after I got hit by my car. It was also in that same arrangement that my Dracaenas were in. Here's my Nepenthes Miranda. I don't need to explain it. I've had it for years. 
My Drosera Sport Please has gotten knocked over somehow, I don't know how. And my Drosera Bermani seedlings right there, along with another Pikmi Thunder, Drosera Purchura. Here's a Telgra plant. This one was in Stunted because it was in really poor soil. This one is one of my newer seedlings I brought out. I gave, like, the two of them died, which I'll show you. And I gave the other one away out of plant swap to my friend Will Lily I mentioned earlier. Unlike these ones. These ones declined because basically they were in fertilized soil and I learned that they do not like that. They might like it for a few months, but after a while they start to decline really rapidly. I did this to give these guys liquid iron, but they did not like that. I think I used too much and that made them even worse. But I see shoot, they're still alive, so hopefully they'll produce new shoots. Here's my own Saputica right here. It, like with my telegraph plant, it was also in heavily fertilized soil, so it's also declining. But it has flowers, so I'll hopefully get seed from it. Here's my Nepenthe CB Winters Cross Truncata, which I like, and it will eventually get really big. I asked the people who sell to me how old it was, and they said it was like two, three years old. Here's my vanilla bean orchid right here, and it has new growth right there. My Nepenthe Ventrata, which is doing fine. No need to explain that. I've had that for over three years. And here's this. I just watered it. I'm so sorry it doesn't look so good. But it looked like it better than it did a few minutes ago. So hopefully it's, I am did something right. Here's my Lady Luck pitcher plant, which I don't think is doing so good. But I just gave it water, so hopefully it will recover too. Here's my Nepenthe Ventricosa. It was my first plant, the oldest plant in my collection, pretty much. Not the oldest, I'm the oldest, I don't think. That might go to that other cactus over there. But it's my first plant I have in my, I got in my current collection. Here's the other telegraph plant that I'm talking about that I'm gonna throw it away soon. And here's my Calathea White Fusion. It also has crispy edge it because of the water. It has chemicals in it. I'm so sorry. Here is my lollipop plant right here. Like it had a flower this summer, but it fell off. My aunt also, my dad's cousin also got this for me. And here's my Calathea rubelia foia. Sorry if I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I got this at Meyer and it has velvety leaves, which I like about it. And yeah, I think that's it. So that was my plant tour for fall of 2020. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Bye.